Hey guys, Jay here. I just want to go over, uh, it was a big weekend. A lot of uh, old time NHL players were in town. I want to go over uh, my successes from the weekend and uh, talk about how I got this Stevie Eisenman rookie card signed. So uh, without any further ado, let's turn the camera around and get this started. All right, let's uh, take a look at the uh, the stuff I got signed this weekend. So I guess the first thing uh, to show off would be the start of the weekend. I ended up getting a TTM back from this guy, Mr. Vince Danfoos, former Leaf, former Oiler, Montreal, Canadian, San Jose Sharks. So I sent him five cards and he sent five back signed in black. It was a 240 day turnaround. So beautiful here. Black's not my favorite, but autographs look great. That's his uh, sit-down autograph. And here's the coveted 87 Panini sticker. I guess that'd be considered his rookie. So five cards, TTM, Vince Don Foose, 240 days. Next guy, uh, met up with this guy on the weekend. This is in person, Hall of Famer Eric Lindros. So I got this card done, which is the 91 score traded, I believe, yes. Um, didn't have this one signed, so he did this card for me. And also got him on a Flyers 8x10. So right there in the beautiful blue. Eric's a, a really nice guy. Just don't don't abuse him, don't push him. And uh, he'll sign a few. So good meeting him. Next guy I got, former Flame, former Hurricane. This is Mike Commodore. So I showed him two. He did two. Very nice guy. I haven't seen him in a while. But uh, good looking autographs. Next up is Coyotes legend Shane Doan. So got him many times over the years. He's a great guy. Uh, showed him three. So he did all three here easily in blue. Could probably show him 20. He'd do them all. But uh, great guy. Haven't seen him in a few years. Next up, Hall of Famer Mike Gartner. So met this guy, uh, Gardner had his own blue Sharpie in his pocket. So uh, I pulled out the uh, the 87 Panini sticker. He did it here in blue. It looks great. It's nice getting some of these uh, stickers done in person now after doing them in the mail uh, the last uh, year. Uh, next item here, this was uh, one of the crown jewels of the weekend. Hall of Fame inductee Jerome McGinley. So here I got him on his rookie card. I believe this is 95 SP. Put the HOF inscription, as you can see, on the card. Really uh, awesome to see him. Took a picture with me. Uh, and then I got him on this 8x10 as well from the uh, 2010 Olympics. So he was putting the HOF on most of the things I saw him sign. So uh, that's Hall of Fame 20 in there. So nice getting a Ginla. Next guy is a former uh, perennial 50 gold man, Mr. John LeClaire. So he, I've got him the last, actually a couple times the last month, but he seems to do five as his number. So uh, he kind of caps it at five when you show him. So he did five of them here. Very exciting player to get when he was a player. Nice to get him now in retirement. He's much more accessible. These look great, done in blue, five for five. Another highlight from the weekend. I don't know if you want to call this guy a legend, but. I met up with Mr. Nicholas Lidstrom, signed his uh, OPG Premier 92 rookie card here in blue. Uh, great seeing this guy. We don't see him too often because he lives in Sweden, but when we do, uh, it's always exciting. I asked him to put the Hall of Fame on the card. He said, uh, if you don't mind, I just want to sign it. But uh, that looks outstanding. I don't have this rookie card done. I have his uh, upper deck done in my collection, but it was nice to add this OPG Premier. Uh, legendary defenseman. Next up, new Hall of Famer this year, Mr. Kevin Lowe. So I got him on a few items this weekend, one being this 88, uh, 89 Opeachy card. And this, I believe, is like a 95, 96 Pinnacle Ranger card. And I got him on uh, some, some other things I'll show you shortly. Great guy, Kevin Lowe. Next up, nice seeing this guy. Uh, I lived in Dallas for three years during his heyday. That's Mr. Mike Medano. Hall of Famer uh, did up this uh, rookie card for me, his OPG Premier rookie. Don't have this done in my collection. Uh, that's his uh, street graph. He has a nice autograph, but uh, I think the card came out looking great. Nice seeing him. Next up, Hall of Famer Scott Niedemeyer. I got his 91 rookie card done. Had him at the HOF. Also got this Be a Player card. I thought it was pretty cool. Picture him uh, as a kid on the front. 
Biedermeyer was great, so a couple off him this weekend. Robin Regeer, I got one. He was a tough autograph as a player. He's not much better now, so I won. Try to move this thing along. My apologies. Uh, nice seeing this guy, Sergey Samsonov, former uh, Calder Trophy Rookie of the Year, 97-98. So uh, he did three for me. Just got him on three different teams. So Bruin card, Blackhawk card, and a Montreal card. Next up, current announcer, former 50 goal man, two-time cup winner, Craig Simpson. Caught him walking on the sidewalk. Had some cards with me, so he did a couple Bowmans here, and then a uh, 91 upper deck. Good guy. So I had three. Did all three. Next up, Hall of Fame, 97 inductee Brian Trache. This guy can be really finicky. Um, he had his own black Sharpie in his pocket. Uh, he did a, we call it a scrum, so there was a point during the weekend he, he did sign. Uh, he was doing one each. Uh, I wasn't crazy about the black he was holding, so I pulled this uh, 84 all-star card out instead of something maybe more more uh, valuable, but uh, it came out great. That's actually a pretty good autograph he, he was signing. Uh, next up is Mr. Former Leaf Tough Guy, Tiger Williams. This guy, we got him uh, sitting down, so I showed him five items. Uh, and he did all five. There's a 78-79 uh, OPG League leader, penalty minutes. The base card. Of course, my 87 Panini sticker looking at. Looking great. 86-87 OPG. And then a uh, Greats of the Game card. Last, uh, next we got Hall of Fame inductee Doug Wilson. So I pulled out his 78-79 uh, rookie card. Had him inscribed at Hall of Fame 2020. Don't have this card done. Uh, I've met him several times as a player, but nice to get him as a, uh, a Hall of Famer now. I think that card looks great. A couple other items this weekend. Hall of Famer Cassie Campbell on the Canada puck. Hall of Famer Marion Hossa on the Blackhawks puck. I went with the purple. I just thought it would pop, but uh, there's Marion Hossa. Uh, my 94 Ranger piece here that I've been working on for years, I added Craig McTavish on there. So this piece, uh, I've been kind of just getting guys over the years, and it's getting almost to completion. I think I'm just going to put Messier up here and Brian Leach, and uh, there's a few scragglers left, but I've got the bulk of the team. So uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Nice to add, as I said, McTavish. My 84 uh, Stanley Cup. It's kind of hard to see with the glare here, but I already have Fear Coffee. Um, this weekend I added uh, Kevin Lowe on there. I added Yari Curry on there. If you can see the Yari Curry autograph. I already had Glenn Anderson. And the surprise of the weekend, I spotted Ken Linsman, who was in town, uh, I guess, for Kevin Lowe. So I was like, perfect. I got this uh, 84 trophy uh, in my pocket. And I uh, put Linsman, Curry, Kevin Lowe. I think it's looking pretty good now. I'm, you know, just adding guys here and there. Next, you guys have probably seen this in the last few of my videos. I'm going to kind of tilt it here. But it was this 86, 87 Red Rooster. So if you remember correctly, I've added uh, McSorley. I added Crucial Niski a few weeks ago. I had Steve Smith uh, when he was coaching the Sabres. Paul Coffey I got a couple weeks ago. Well, this weekend I added the Kevin Lowe signature. I added Craig McTavish and I added Yari Curry. So this thing is looking great. It was kind of an accidental piece, but I, I thought these are uncut sheets. So I thought it would look pretty cool getting these guys to sign. And I think I can still get a bunch more. Uh, but uh, so, so far I've got two, four, five, uh, I guess seven, seven of them. So it's looking great. And next up, the crown jewel of the weekend. Surprised to get this guy. Always a pleasure. Very rare. This guy is not a good signer. He's a, a very reclusive signer. Mr. Steve Eiserman. I think it's safe to call him a legend. Uh, was not expecting to get this. Uh, just one of those situations, right place, right time. Uh, I pulled out the uh, the 84 OPG rookie card, which, as you guys know, is my, my bread and butter. Did it here in blue. It seems like every uh, Hall of, uh, every uh, Hall of Fame weekend, there's one big hit. Uh, like a couple of years ago, it was my Lemieux jersey and stuff like that. This year, no doubt, I would have never imagined I got this done. I was prepared for him, uh, and needless to say, it was just right, good timing, and uh, card came out great. So uh, that's definitely a wrap. Thank you for watching the video, and uh, keep collecting.